Hey, it's Dr. Karen Can, and this is another LifeWave micro training where today we'll be talking a little bit about acupuncture points that you can use with LifeWave phototherapy patches to help with the symptoms of heavy menstrual bleeding and menstrual cramps. I know the guys are like, I don't want to talk about that stuff, right? <laughs> but us women are like, hey, we need some help. And um, I definitely had a lot of these issues before um, when I was younger, not understanding or knowing that the birth control pills that I was taking was long term was causing what we call leaky gut uh, in the naturopathic world, um, uh, which is uh, damaging, you know, damage to the, the lining, inside lining of the gut. And then we can get all sorts of problems like allergies and autoimmunity and things like that. And and one of the, the side effects of having that leaky gut is um, a condition called endometriosis, um, where the inside lining of the uterus can spurt out into your abdomen. I know that sounds horrible. Um, and it can seed different parts of your gut and actually cause gut pain um, during your period. <laughs> and it's very, very painful. So we're not treating any disease or curing or preventing anything here with LifeWave patches. We don't claim that. But what we can do is help you with symptoms. And what we can do is go to Chinese medicine and look at what are the acupuncture points we're going to be using with this very, very simple protocol and which patches are very, very good at uh, connecting with the, the hormones. So I'll give you a couple of options as well, like option one, option two. OK, so the first thing we want to do is um, patch either side of the uterus. So we're going to use phototherapy patches, and um, these actually help with hormonal balance, the ones I'm going to show you today. One's called um, the Eon patch, and that's used on the right-hand side of the body in this protocol. And one's called the SB6 complete patch, and that's used on the left-hand side of the body in this protocol. And both of them do help to balance hormones in the body. So this is a, a, a secondary effect, but we're today we're using it for... Um, the, the menstrual issues, um, but uh, just know that these two will be helping your overall hormonal balance in the entire body, okay? So we're gonna uh, use these, and uh, what's really neat is that the, the Eon goes on the right-hand side of the body, it's my right side, the SP6 goes on the left-hand side, so just, you'll have to remember that. I'm gonna show you some acupuncture points we're gonna be using here. Okay, now we're gonna be using a special point um, that is on either side of conception vessel three. It's called Jigong, okay? And it actually is used for menstrual kind of stuff. So um, now just ignore this Chinese name for a moment, okay? Uh, this actually is conception vessel three. Now, why do I'm telling you that even though we're not patching it? It's because it's you wanna find that point first to find the Jigong the other point, the extra point that's good for the uterus, which is like, you know, um, bracketing either side of the uterus. Now, if you take a look at just REN3, which is CV3, you can actually see that that also helps with menstrual disorders and things like that. So if you have one patch and one patch only, you actually could patch this point alone. It's not the one we're talking about today, but you could if you want. So how do you find CV3? It's actually pretty easy. So what you wanna do is on your body, you wanna poke around in the um, pubic bone. So you wanna feel the top of the pubic bone. At the very top of that bone is conception vessel two, not three, two, okay? And conception vessel three is about an inch higher than that. Now, um, if you take a look at, um, you know, uh, DuckDuckGo or Brave or Google, or whatever, you can actually see how people find it. So here is a lo location chart, sorry, location description, right? It says one kun or chun above the superior border of the symphysis pubis. I know that sounds very technical, but basically it's one thumb width, <laughs> okay, above there. Guess what? If you're around that area, it's good enough. You don't have to be an acupuncturist. Why? The patches are this big, right? So you're just going to patch somewhere in that area. So it's going to be, um, again, let's go over that again. CV2 is at the level, at the top level of the pubic bone. You're going to go about one thumb width above that. All right. And patch the, um, sorry, and uh, find that point CV3. And then we're gonna find the Zigong's way, which is hard to say. Um, so here is a picture here in the middle would be CV3, okay? And um, you're gonna go three inches to either side, 
three inches. Now you're like, what's an inch? Well, three Chinese inches is three of your thumbs. So if you put three of your thumbs together, some people feel, well, it's almost like four of your, you know, fingers here. It's pretty close. That's about three thumb, thumb widths, okay? Or you could measure with three thumb like that. So you're just giving a, a roundabout estimation. It's not three inches as in, you know, like a ruler inch per se. In Chinese medicine, chun or cun, kun, kun, however you pronounce it, uh, means an inch, meaning your thumb inch. So if it's me, it's a smaller thumb than if it's my husband's thumb, right? So it's based on your body size. So it's three inches or three thumb widths on either side of CB3. And you're going to put the eon, okay? So that's the, the one, the blue packed eon on the right hand side on that point. And you're going to put the SP6 complete on the left hand side. So now you got the hormonal balance going. And then you have got um, this bracketing going as well with these acupuncture points. And that is really helpful for menstrual issues. Now, is it wrong to put one in the middle? No, I would put a different one in the middle. You know, you could put uh, X39, for example, in the middle. That That's an option, okay? But um, definitely you wanna put uh, the Eon on the right, SP6 on the left. And then if you want to improve or enhance hormonal balance, what you wanna do at night um, is you want to use this patch. It is marketed for um, skincare, but uh, the Alavita, uh, is a patch that is uh, activating your pineal gland through a peptide called epithalamin. So aloe vita being used at night here helps with sleep, also helps you have nice skin, but also helps to communicate uh, from the pineal gland to all the other glands in the body. So it's considered hormone supporting or hormone balancing. So this is a really great protocol for both addressing the local area, the uterus, uh, with that heavy bleeding uh, or pain or cramping. And then um, also paying attention to, you know, the hormones of the body, because all three of those patches, Alavita, Eon, and SB6, are homo hormonal balancing. So that, so option two, okay, so that's option one. And you can use all three during the day or all three during the night or um, the, the third eye at night and then the other two during the day. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay. Most people use the olive at night because nobody wants to, although we're at home a lot these days during the pandemic, but um, <laughs> no, most people don't want to be walking in the grocery store with a patch on their forehead, unless of course you're selling it and you want people to ask you about it. Then go ahead and do that. Uh, but anyway, the olive Vita, most people use at night. So you can start at 8 p.m. at night, use for 12 hours, take it off in the morning. And then um, depending on when you're cramping or heavy bleeding is the worst, you can use the Eon and the SP6 on the belly at night or the daytime. For me, in the past, I probably would have used it at night. It seemed like at night my cramps were worse. It could be because I was running out of energy, you know, by then. So looking back, if we had these available back then, um, I probably would be using all three at night. So the other option for you, if a pain, okay, is the major symptom and the Eon and SP6 on the either side is not enough, your alternate actually um, is, uh, let me show you the, that picture again. Do, 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 do. Okay, so your alternate is using Ice Wave. So Ice Wave is the patches for pain relief from Life Wave. There's a white and a tan. Classically, you would use white on the right and tan on the left. Same thing, three inches from CV three. White on right, rhymes right, tan on left. Now, occasionally, the opposite will work better, where you have tan on the right and white on the left. So what I say is, take some tape, okay? Now, this is assuming that the Eon and SP6 combo we just talked about in option one doesn't work or doesn't work enough. Take some tape, put tape on the back of those white and tan patches for the ice wave, and stick them temporarily to your belly. Drink lots of water, make sure you're hydrated, and then wait, you know, wait to see if that makes a difference. And if you're like, mm, I don't know, or oh, I don't know, maybe it's worse, just swap them, swap the polarities and see if that makes it better. So, you know, there's lots of options. And people are like, well, what if I want both the hormone balancing and more pain relief? 
Option three. <laughs> option three is you can stack the patches. This is more advanced. So start with the other option one or two. But what you can do is you can stack the patches. So remember, you have SP6 on the, sorry, on the left, Eon on the right, okay? You can actually put the ice wave on top of them. And in this case, again, I would just use tape, right? And just to make sure that that feels good before you adhere them. And some people just never take the tape off. They're like, oh, well, they're stacked and the tape's there. It doesn't bother me, so I'll just keep it on. That's fine. You know, remember to drink lots of water because the, the energy of the body needs to move, and it moves with water. And if you don't drink enough water, then patches don't work as well. And then you're wasting your money. <laughs> so definitely use, um, uh, definitely have some hydration, especially when you're going through pain. I know when I had this that I did not drink enough fluid, and it was challenging to get enough fluid in. Yeah, so I'm going to review all three options. Okay, so option one, which was our basic option, which was the Eon patch on the right hand side and the SP6 on the left hand side on this point, Jigong Shui, and then Alavita and Knight here. Option two is Ice Wave, right on uh, white on right, tan on left, or vice versa, whenever you want to have it for pain. 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and then Alavita at night for hormone balancing. Option three is combining all of them. So Alavita at night for hormone balancing, SP6 and Eon, and then stack the ice wave on top of that for additional pain. And um, in Chinese medicine, the ice wave helps to uh, unblock stuck energy, which causes pain. So there you have it. I hope this helps. Please feel free to share this video. Please let me know in the um, just down below in the comments if you're watching the replay and or with if you are going to try this or you have someone in mind to uh, to try this with. That would be awesome. I hope we can help them. And if for, if for whatever reason you're watching this and you have no idea what LifeWave patches are, what they do, and you don't have a LifeWave distributor that you're working with, you can just go to uh, my team site, patchtrainingteam.com, and book a free consult with one of my team members. And if you are working with the LifeWave uh, distributor, then go back to them and purchase these patches. All right. It's so great to be here with you. Thank you so much for joining me. And feel free to share. And if you want all of the playlists, you can go to patchtrainingteam.com forward slash microtraining, and that'll bring you to the YouTube playlist that has all the ones that I have done so far. All right. You take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.